What's happening YouTube family? AI the Mutt Mechanic coming back at you guys live. And what I want to do for this video, it's been a minute since I kind of I kind of stopped reviewing cards cuz a lot was coming out and then uh, I was just busy the past couple of weeks. But we're going to pick it up uh, right where I left off somewhat and we're going to review the new um, final edition Michael Bennett tight end card that this came. And and if you guys want me to review some other cards that you guys are on the fence about getting, let me know in the comment section uh, comment section below and I will review those cards for you and help you guys out so without further ado let's review this card all right so you know I'm kind of my coins kind of low a little bit but you know it is what it is I, I'm gonna I'm try to pick it back up I don't know that the, the market has been kind of dry a lot of people been dropping off and the only thing I've seen that's been that's had somewhat promises you guys remember when i was talking about the ultimate team collectible cards not the collectible cards but the cards that go into the sets to make the, the to build the players i think those cards are double what they used to be so if you have any of those cards i suggest you put them up this weekend because they're going for uh, quite a bit so uh, let's go ahead and look at this michael bennett card i actually like this card by the way i'm thinking about uh using him and um in a, in a double tight end set using him and Vernon Davis because they their stats are kind of identical. All right, so this is uh, I think Michael Bennett is 6'6. Six, Martelli has been why I call Michael Bennett. I'm thinking about the Seahawks. Martelli has been is about 6'6, six, six, 98 tight end, long pass, sh uh, short run chemistries. All right, let's get deeper into stats. Strength 92, which is pretty good for a tight end. 88 agility. You want a little bit, you want it to be a little bit higher, but he's he's not a a huge route running tight end he's more of a blocking tight end but that's cool 90 speed which isn't bad for a tight end at all 94 acceleration that's pretty good uh, 85 awareness you know that's that's okay and i kind of want to compare this card to like a gronk uh but you know he's maybe a little bit better than gronk just a little bit that's base gronk that's not talking about ultimate ultimate edition gronk and stuff like that but base gronk all right 97 catching which is good 83 carrying which that's that's that's, that's, that's pretty good uh, 68 pass blocking, yeah. You want it to be a little higher. 78 run block, which isn't too bad. 96 jumping, I really like that stat. That's way better than Gronk's. 83 trucking, not bad. But 48 elusiveness, you have to pick that up, Martelli, uh, Martellius. Uh, 77 ball carrier vision. 94 stiff arm, which is pretty good. Spin move, not too bad. Juke move, uh, not too bad. 80 impact blocking, that's pretty good. 79 run block strength uh, these stats don't compare to Gronk. Gronk is like a beast when it comes to blocking So I definitely would pick him up over Gronk But if you're using him and Gronk in, in, in the dual tight end situation, I definitely can agree with that His, run, his pass block is, is not that great uh, Injury is not bad. Stamina is pretty good. Spec catch is pretty good. Catching traffic is good. Route running You want that route running to be a little bit higher. Release is not too bad You really want that um, that route running to be like 88 but like i said he's not known to be an excellent route runner but um that's pretty decent that's pretty decent so my final verdict on this card uh maybe 80k it's not a bad card to get an 80k i don't know what gronk is let's check out let's check out gronk um i don't want base edition let's check out what gronk stats are Greg Olson, Greg Olson, 6'6", six, six, right? six, Not a bad card, not a bad card. Uh, he's just not strong enough. A great route running card, but just not strong enough for, well, my team in particular. I like blocking tight ends. I like, you know, do it you know do it all tight ends, but sometimes that's how it works out. Um, Patriots, right? Yep. Let's check out Gronk real quick. Uh... See, this Gronk is high, so we're not looking at that Gronk. Let's look at this one. Speed, uh, it's a little bit slower. Awareness, not as, as good. Strength, not as high. Run block, his run block is not as good. His route running is a little bit better, but uh, I would pick that Martellius Bennett card on. Let's, let's look at, what was the set that I said that was, that you kind of really wanted. The route running stat, uh, jumping is not as good as Martellius Bennett. His truck, his 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 illusionist is kind of down there with, with um, my tail ball carry vision stiff on. Do, 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 do. His run block, his run block strength is better. Uh, catching traffic is better. Route running is better. 
His release is better. So I, I still would like, I still would pick that Bennett card over this 96 Gronk. Remember, I had the 96 Gronk for a while. Um, uh, and I kind uh, let me let me give you guys a good card that I was kind of looking at that I'm thinking about picking up that I really didn't pay attention to in the beginning, but is a very very solid card back on a uh, further review and this it's a draft card is it is it Vic Beasley yeah this Vic Beasley card is beast he's not as fast as a Khalil Mack but he's stronger he's taller he can jump look at the acceleration only thing is his awareness but it's his awareness is not too too bad off that Khalil Mack. And I'm talking about not the golden ticket Khalil Mack. I'm talking about the 96, I think, all rookie Khalil Mack. This card is beast. So I definitely would tell you guys to pick up this card for right linebacker. If you're looking for a right linebacker, you don't want to spend a whole bunch of coins. Definitely pick up this Vic Beasley card, man. This I'm, I'm, I'm really thinking about picking him up and holding him in my... Uh, Cause I was gonna get Khalil Mack, but I think this card is a little better than Khalil Mack. So, with that said, definitely look at this Khalil Mack. I mean, this Vic Beasley card. Just my tip. All right, like I said at the beginning, if you guys want some cards for me to review, let me know in the comment section below, and I will review them later on. I'll probably give you guys my top 10 wide receivers under 200k, in case you're trying to upgrade your wide receiver spot, which I des I desperately need to do so. Um, I guess I'm gonna go ahead and pick up go, go pick up that Marcus Mariota card and put him back here And I definitely want to increase my wide receivers up a little bit uh, This Alshon Jeffrey card is a solid card. He's not going anywhere uh, I like the Al Anquan Bowden card. And this Kelvin Benjamin card is pretty good But I just need uh, other starters. I'm thinking about picking up that Larry Fitzgerald card and Probably the Andre Johnson 97 overall card and those would be my two pickups and then Ultimately, I want to get the, and then I want that Jerry Rice. The card I really want is the Brandon Marshall card. Uh, that'll be one of my, it'll be my starting wide receiver, but that's like 350K. I don't have that right now. Um, and that's what I'll do with that on defense. Uh, hold on. Let me try to put my Ronnie Lott back up here. Yeah, I was trying to sell my Ronnie Lot. Um, let's see if I can get the other. See if I can get the other Ronnie Lot, but it just didn't happen that way. So I'm looking at. I need to get me a, uh, another left end. That'll probably be my next purchase. A left end. Um, probably another cornerback. And I really want that 99 Ronnie Lot. So as far as defense goes, defense goes, uh, left end, Ronnie Lott, and then two other corners, another right linebacker, middle linebacker, and left linebacker for now. So we're pretty solid on the defensive line of the defensive line front. And I probably will pick up uh Clinton Dix just to have to compliment my Eric Weddle. Because I need a taller, I want a taller guy to kind of in a little, uh, you know, just a taller guy. Period. So, and and that's where it. Then we'll be we'll be pretty solid as far as offense and defense. And there's some other running backs that I want, but for right now we're just gonna roll with what we have. All right, that's it. I didn't want to get too long with it on this video, but I'm AI the Mutt Mechanic signing out. Appreciate you guys for listening, following, and watching. And I'll catch you guys on the next video. 1:31 and I'm out. This thing. Peace.